Hello. This is a quick video to explain a new question that has recently come up in a Navin Radar exam. So if you are sitting your Navin Radar for OOW in the next couple of weeks, then this is for you. The Navin Radar is split into two parts. Part A is chart work, radar plotting, and time. That is a very important part of the exam, 70% of the total mark. You cannot afford to make a mistake on part A. There is a new question, came up October 2020. The question, now this is a debrief from a crew member straight after their exam. So I wouldn't worry too much about the words, it's more the concept, it can be however it is. But there was a range of five miles from a lighthouse, a coast point. It was done apparently in restricted visibility and they were given ranges. So at 10 o'clock, um, there was a range of five miles from lighthouse one, we'll say. And then an hour later, a different range from a different point. Course was given as 232 true and a speed of 10 and a half knots. Tide was 170 at two knots. They asked for a position at 11 o'clock so it was a running fix, and we were supposed to transfer the range to 11. I knew it was a running fix, but just couldn't get my head around it. So I have looked in all of my reference books, and I have consulted the internet, and I have consulted all of my books. And it sounds like it's a running fix using two radar ranges. I'm not entirely sure that's the right name. It could be a transferring singular position um, lines or circular position lines. I don't know. I haven't found it in a book. But if we look at it from purely a um, geometry perspective, it is okay. Let's have a look at how we would manage a question where it has two ranges from two different points an hour apart. I have created a worked example here and I'm going to explain it using my iPad. We'll say there's a little bit of land that comes a bit like this, okay? And we have two points on it. We have a first point here and a second point further down. And they are both radar conspicuous points. Now the red um, conspicuous point, we work out at 10 o'clock that we have a radar range of six miles or eight miles, what did I say? Uh, the 10th of May, 207, the original range of Berry Head is 4.8 nautical miles. And then of the second one, which is start point, we have a radar range of six miles. Okay, doesn't really matter. It's more of the concept I want you to get. And we are steering a course of 207 compass, so we'd convert that to true. We'll say that's about 200 degrees. And then we have some tide of 220 at two knots. Now we are anywhere on this red radar range at the beginning, aren't we? We don't know where we are, that's the problem. So we are going to cheat. We're going to assume we're at the center of the radar range. And then we're gonna move everything down by one radar range worth. So we'll say that we are steering about 207 degrees there. And that equates to our course and our speed. And then we have a bit of tide, what did I say the tide was? So about 220, so we'll say it's about that far. And that gives us a point here. Now that point is out by one radius of our radar range, isn't it? So to fix that, what we're gonna do is we're going to transfer that original radius across so that we are at the center of that. And it will give us probably two positions. Normally one is um, you can discount so in this case, we have got two possible positions. We've got one here, which we have one here, which is on the land, and another one here. So that is our position at 11 o'clock. 
To work out where we were an hour before, we include our ground track, don't we? So there's our ground track. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that line and I'm going to transfer it back. So that means if at 11 o'clock we are here, at 10 o'clock we must have been there. And that has allowed us to calculate our position at 11 and at 10 o'clock and our ground track. So we have answered question one. Now, it is a new question. I don't know if it's going to come up again. I don't know if it's going to be um, removed after moderation or what will happen to this question. But I wanted to give you a heads up if your exam is coming in the next couple of weeks or next couple of months. I'm going to work through this question on chart 5056 within my Navinradar app. I would advise, if you do have an exam coming up, that you download and watch all of the videos and work through all of my worked examples to help you prepare for your upcoming exam. Best of luck with the exam, and I hope to see you for an oral prep in the near future. Good luck.